Good evening. Hello and welcome to the Renegade Prof channel. I'm Alex Bam of Bamford and this is the Yorkshire Arsenal Fans Series. So today I will be discussing, of course, the Man United game. Can you imagine if I'm happy or not? I'm definitely not happy. Um, and then going on to the Bournemouth game predictions. But first, of course, <sighs> yep, yeah, let's go on to the Man United game. So, um, two words spring to mind after that. And it's Emery out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's one of them annoying Arsenal fans, you know. We want Wenger out. I want Emery out. He's not going to be happy. Actually, when it came to the Wenger situation, I wasn't really on the side of Emery, uh, sorry, Wenger out or Wenger in. I was just a bit... I saw both sides of the argument, so I just was a bit impartial to the situation. Um, but yeah, Emery out is a, is a must. I'll tell you why. Look at the team sheet that he selected for the game. Because... Uh, it, I mean, why why was that the team? Why is Kalasinic on and not Kieran Turney? Socrates is on. Now, granted, Socrates didn't have that bad of a game, but I would have still had Rob Holden in him. Chambers, I said, had to be on because Bellerin's still, you know, resting all this. Fair enough. Um, Shaq is now our captain. He's made Shaka the captain. Shaka. It just baffles the mind. It really baffles the mind that he has made Shaka the captain. I mean, what, what, what's going on? How come he's getting all this playtime? What does he see? Ugh. What does Emery see for Shaka that we don't? What games does he watch? Is he watching a parallel version of the game or something where Shaka is suddenly mysteriously amazing? The one who gives away all the, 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 the free kicks and the, the penalties or, you know, the yellow cards, the fouls, the goals. Nah, he's perfect, Captain. Oh, did you see what he did for the Man United game? He ducked. Granite Ducker, that's what he should be called. He ducked for that free kick. So he went in. It's, what's the point of having him in the wall then? What is the point of having him in the wall? What is the point of having him in the wall? So, yeah. Um, so, Emery didn't know how to choose the team, right? The players aren't playing for him anyway. He just... <laughs> see that performance? It was mediocre at best. Actually, no, mediocre is too kind for that game. It was fucking shit. I could, uh, my team selection from last week was better than the one he had. And why is Ozil not even on the bench? He was considered as one of the captains... What is going on? It's fucking ridiculous there. It's absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, Emery needs to be out. And not just that, but did anyone else notice that he looks like Steve Coogan from the day to day in the Bureau de Change? So there you go. See, he looks like that. He looks like the character from the day to day Bureau de Change. <laughs> I mean, that's not a reason why Emery's out. That's quite funny. I just thought it would lighten the mood after my rage. But I really just do want, I just want him out. Oh, oh. Right. I've calmed down now. <laughs> Can you tell? So let's move on to the Bournemouth Arsenal game, right? So it's at home, it's at Emirates. Obviously our record at home is way better than away. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. I think the team selection I can't get right because Emery just does not know what the fuck's going on. Uh let's see. Let me do, let me do what I think the team will be. It's going to be somewhat like, Shaq is going to be in defence. We're going to have Leno up front. Aubameyang's going to be in midfield. Uh, who else is going to be there? Uh, Saka's going to be, I don't know, one of the centre-backs. Nelson, oh, Nelson will be good. Let's put Nelson in centre-defensive mid. Oh, yes. And that'll be basically what Emery's going to do. Something ridiculous like that, I don't know. So, Bournemouth Arsenal again. My prediction, okay. I think it's going to be 2-0 to us. So that's my prediction. 2 0. Going on to the uh, formation and to the lineup. I reckon Chambers will be there. I reckon he will play Kieran this time. But, and actually Rob Holding. I think he's going to have Shaka there because he's the captain. So he's obviously going to be constantly playing Shaka. So Shaka's now going to be in the, the centre again. Followed by Gwen Doozy. And then I reckon Ozil. Then up will be Saka again. 
Aubameyang and Pepe. And obviously Leno is in there. And I think it will still be 4-3-3 for this one. Which I've been getting wrong, I know, but I just... He, I don't know, I feel like he is going to play 4-3-3 again. Also, apologies to the camera not being as good as usual, but my camera ran is away, so I'm using my camera and it's just not as good as his. Uh, so I've tried to do the best I can do and still, you know, grind out and do an F every week if I can. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, especially watching me rant. I also want to say a massive thank you because we hit the goal of 300, which is amazing. So I now have 300 subscribers. So the next goal is 500 subscribers. Let's try and get that. Then I can reach my overall goal of 1,000 subscribers or over and I'll be very, very happy. So yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching and leaving the feedback and helping me to improve and just, yeah, everything. And subscribing. So yeah, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. The same thing you've been doing since 2005. Thank you very much again and peace out.